Okay, purpose of this one is today, a lot of the TVs, audio devices, sound bars or speakers, old surround sound systems may only have these old analog inputs like the back of this there, those phono inputs. Uh, and our modern TVs, like I've got a 2018 Samsung, but a lot of the new Samsungs now, they don't have an analog audio or headphone output. So you can see a digital audio out there, or just flick to another shot of one of my other Samsungs with the digital audio outputs there on the side of it with the HDMI's, but no analog audio output. So if we just come closer, I've got a small device here. These are nice and cheap. And I will put a link for one where you can have your wired headphones to as well for the same purpose. So I've got USB power to the DC 5 volt. This lead comes with it. That's from the side of my TV box or one connect box. You have the USBs on the side of a TV also that you could use to power this. Output. So I've got my phono analog outs. Just remove those. We can see the red and white left and right audio analog outputs there. Okay, so I'll plug my leads back in. This is the digital audio out. We can see the red light coming out of there. That's the digital audio out from the television. That's into the input of this converter box. I mean, I put the link in, they're around five to 10 quid, depending where you live. Uh, so you can use coaxial digital in, or you can use that optical digital in as well, marked as toss link on this one. Lights on to show we've got power there. Phono cables. The amp I'm using is an old Sonus Connect amp, but you can use a two channel stereo receiver, like I say, old sound bars or surround systems that have those phono inputs. So these will often be marked as line in or aux, AUX, auxiliary inputs. So I put my red and white back into the inputs there. I've only got one speaker wired for the demonstration. So if I just flick it around, Turn the sound up. To murder as many people as he could and potentially to die in that attempt. So that is pretty he much it. Himself with a replica. Let's turn that down again. Okay. So the only other thing that could catch you out, I'll just flick to a TV shot now. Looking at the TV, one thing you may have to change depending on how the TV is defaulted. But if you go to your sound, Enter the settings for the sound output, and it's the digital audio output I'm after. It needs to be set to PCM to be used on the analog devices, so that's just two channel audio. If it's on Dolby Digital, you're going to get a strange sort of, I don't know, distorted sound. You won't get your TV sound, but PCM. Quick look there, what you actually get with this kit you get your digital optical lead and your USB power to power it up. USB power to the TV, digital audio output from the TV.